This is murder, what happened to my son, Ronnie. I want you to tell us specifically what you were told in the aftermath of your son's death. We were told by two officers that my son behind a, a high-speed chase uh, ran into a tree, his car ran into a tree, and he died of head injuries. He hit the windshield and he died of head injuries. We were told he died because of a car crash. The details that we got afterwards uh, was totally everything but. This is a case where all the evidence directly contradicted the narrative provided by law enforcement. The evidence of um, Ronald Greed's body, which was heavily covered in bruises, really from his head to his toe, it showed that he had been involved in a, a brutal assault. But the narrative that the medical examiner received and the medical professionals received said that he was involved in a car accident. And as the, the ER doctor pointed out, it just didn't add up. The medical examiner ultimately concluded that he had died from the collision, but that's because the medical examiner wasn't given a copy of this video that we've now all seen or a, a proper narrative to describe it. I want to be clear, there was nothing standard about how the, the uh, state troopers in Louisiana handled uh, this arrest or the reporting on it. From that first time of viewing it, I, I relived it every day since then. Uh, the fact that it was a cover-up, it's been a nightmare. Uh, we've not properly grieved, but we need to hold these people accountable. Someone needs to pay. Someone needs to go to jail for this. This is murder, what happened to my son, Ronnie. It's, a, it's horrible that everyone has to see this, but at the same moment, I'm so glad that it's exposed because of corruption. It's such a horrific level of corruption, all the way up to the top, from day one. He found a, a laughter. He found everything was happy for him, regardless of what he went through, a cancer survivor, everything in life that he succeeded to overcome. Uh, that's something we're gonna miss, uh, but we'll remember him and it makes us stronger because of that. Everyone who knows Ronnie knows his heart and they're grieving and it's heavy for them as well.